डेट नंबर थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन टू फिफ्टीन अ लार्ज कंपनी पोलो हैज फाइव सब्सिडरीज ए बी सी डी एंड ई क्रिस्टो सीनियर इंटरनल ऑडिट मैनेजर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर थ्री ऑडिट स्पेशलिटी डिपार्टमेंट्स फिनेंशियल कंप्लायंस आई टी फॉर ऑल फाइव सब्सिडरीज ही हैज अ टीम ऑफ सेवेंटीन मेंबर्स विच इन इज टू डेलीगेट अकॉर्डिंग टू द टेबल गिवन फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ ऑडिटिंग सो इफ यू लुक एट सब्सिडरी ए ही नीड्स एट मेंबर्स फॉर फाइनेंशियल फोर फॉर कंप्लायंस फाइव फॉर आई टी एंड सिमिलरली फॉर बी सी डी एंड ई क्रिस्टॉफ स्टीम हैड टू काइंड ऑफ मेंबर्स इंटर्नस एंड परमानेंट एम्प्लॉयज इंटर्नस कुंड वर्क इन कुड वर्क इन ऑल दी थ्री स्पेशलिटीज बट दे वर्क इन ओनली वन सब्सिडरी इन इच ऑडिट वेल परमानेंट एम्प्लॉयज हैव स्किल्स टू वर्क इन एक्जैक्टली वन स्पेशलिटी नो टीम मेंबर वॉज लेफ्ट आइडल सो इट्स द डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द सब्सिडरी एंड ऑडिट स्पेशलिटी Uh, being three of them, financial compliance and IT, and he has a total of seventeen members. So the distribution is given, and there is nothing else we can conclude from here. So we can straight away jump over to the questions and see how should we go about them. So let's look at uh, the questions now. Question number eleven: What is the minimum possible number of interns in Christoph's team? so if you want to have the minimum possible number of interns we need to have maximum possible number of permanent employees right so if we need to have uh, permanent employees in financial we cannot have uh, more than 3 and then we cannot have more than 4 here and more than 4 here right so three permanent employees they continuously work for financial four in compliance and four in it that's we are pretty sure about so whether this is this four or the other four doesn't matter so out of total of uh, 17 members if we have a total of uh, 11 members that uh, are uh, permanent ones so the minimum number of interns we will have is going to be six so this is maximum number of permanent members so we'll get the minimum number of interns so the answer is 6 we should type in 6 since it's a theta question question number 12 if it is known that for no audit of any of the five subsidiaries the audit speciality has more permanent employees working than interns for the subsidiary project what is the minimum possible number of interns in christoph steam now uh in order to have the minimum possible number of interns there should be a maximum possible number of permanent employees very similar to the previous question now the minimum number of employees for financial is in uh, subsidiary d and uh, if we look at for compliance it's 4 and for it it's 4 or 4 whichever 4 we would like to take so the maximum number of permanent employees in financial is going to be 3 by 2 which is uh, going to be 1 and similarly it's going to be 4 by 2 under compliance which is 2 4 by 2 for it which is going to be 2 so if you consider all the three special uh, all the three audit specialities there can be only a maximum of 1 2 and 2 permanent employees so this is max of permanent employees in each of the specialities now if this is the maximum we get so the minimum number is going to be 17 minus max of permanent that will give us the minimum number of interns so minimum number of interns will turn out to be 17 minus 5 that will result in 12 now since it's a theta question we are supposed to put in 1 2 question number 13 if there were a maximum possible number of permanent employees for how many audits out of the five subsidiaries interns were working for all the three speciality departments now uh if you talk about permanent employees again right and the maximum permanent employees it's going to be 3 4 and 4 uh, for these now once this 3 is done it takes care of speciality d when we say 4 of compliance it takes care of subsidiary a 
and if you talk about 4 in IT, it will take care of subsidiary B. Since 4 exists in both, so it will take care of both the subsidiaries. It's only the subsidiary E which is going to be left over where only interns are work, where, where interns are working. Okay. So out of 4, 3 are permanent, so 1 is an intern. Out of 5, 4 are permanent, so 1 is an intern. Out of 8, 4 are permanent, so remaining 4 are interns. So there is only one subsidiary where it will work out. So the answer is going to be option A. Question number 14. If interns could work in only two of the three specialty departments, only those two audit departments for all the audits and workers can be left idle, what is the minimum possible number of members in the team? So the question they have not mentioned that uh, if interns could work only two of the three specialty departments and what are those departments? It's not mentioned, right? So we will have to consider three cases. It may be financial compliance, it may be compliance IT or it may be financial IT. So uh, let's take cases. So if we are saying that uh, if they work in compliance and IT, then in if this happens, then there are going to be a minimum of eight permanent employees in finance because we need to take care of all the other subsidiaries as well. Okay. And uh, there needs to be the maximum we can have is nine here. The maximum, the next one we can have is 11. Next one we can have is 13. Next one we can have is 14. Sorry, this is plus. And next one you can have is 13. So we can say that uh, the other two will end up to give us a 7 and a 7. 14 is the maximum number of uh, interns that we can have. So overall we will have a minimum of uh, 8 plus 7 plus 7 that will result in 22. Next is if we take uh, finance and IT. So the interns are working in only these two. So in this case, we will have a minimum of nine in compliance. And uh, if you look at uh, financial and IT together, this is 13. Next it is 10. Next it is 10 and next it is 12. So the maximum interns we can have is 13 by taking eight and then five from IT. So this will result in 13 plus nine. So minimum 22. Uh, members are there in the team. Next, if we take uh, finance and compliance. So for in order to take care of IT, we would need minimum eight. Then the sum for finance and compliance is eight plus four, 12, six plus seven, 13, four plus nine, 13, three plus seven, 10 and four plus five, nine. So we have 13 as the maximum we can have that will take care of not maximum. If we have 13 interns, it will, they will take care of finance and compliance altogether. The largest of the compliance uh, plus financial is 13. So we can have 13 in two ways. We can have six plus seven and then plus eight, or we can have four plus nine plus eight. So 13 plus eight is going to be 21. So the minimum possible number of members in the team is going to be 21, which is going to be option B. So we'll mark B. Question number 15. If interns could work in only two of the three specialty departments, only those two audit departments for all the audits and workers can be left idle, what is the minimum possible number of permanent employees being idle at any stage? So again, it is not mentioned which two out of the three specialty departments interns are going to work. So we will take the case when we are talking about compliance and IT. So if we take compliance and IT, we will have minimum eight employees are working. So if minimum eight uh, permanent employees are working in, oh sorry, not IT we have to take financial, right? So minimum eight employees are working in financial. So in the case of uh, subsidiary D, we can say that 
five are idle. Okay. Next, if we assume that uh, the two specialty departments are uh, uh, finance and IIT, then in this case we have uh, nine maximum members, permanent members that are working. If nine maximum permanent members are working, then when they are working in uh, subsidiary A and when only four are working, that means five are idle. Right. Uh, lastly, let's take uh, finance and compliance. These are the two specialty departments where the interns are working. If we take this, so we have, uh, sorry, then we have a total of eight permanent members that should be working and but when they are going to work for subsidiary B or C, when only four of them are working, that means remaining four are going to be idle. So we can see that the minimum possible number of permanent members that can be idle at any stage is going to be four. Since it's a data question, we are supposed to type in four. 